Hey everyone, hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another one here on the channel. In today's video, got a good one here for you. We are going to be comparing the least expensive battery pack against a great value battery pack. Let's not waste any time, jump right into it by starting off and taking a look at the price point of each one of these packs. Let's now go through the prices that we can see here up on the screen. So when we're taking a look at our Battery packs here, we got the Turnigy Rapid 5.0. This is a 4S 5,000 milliamp hour 100C rated battery pack that does come with that EC5 and it is selling for $28. $0.83 USD, a very, very good price. And note on the website that it does state this is their best seller. I can imagine because of this price point, it makes this battery pack very appealing. We're gonna compare this least expensive battery pack that I've ever tested here up against the great value battery pack. This is a CNHL Racing Series 5200 milliamp hour, 14.8 volt 4S and it is a 90C battery. So very comparable even in the specifications, also including that EC5. This battery pack is on sale on the CNHL website. It's on sale for $38.99 USD. So the price point is about 10 USD different, and we're gonna see if that is worth paying over the Turnigy Rapid. Now that we have the price point, let's jump into the next part and take a look at the performance graph that we have where we've taken samples of data from four different spots. We'll go through that. Let's get right into that graph. Here's the results that we have from our load test. And when we go and take them and look at four specific points during the discharge, this is the comparison that we're gonna take a look at. Now these four points come from different areas of the discharge. Let's talk about that. The first one here is at the maximum current. This is also essentially gonna be the maximum wattage that this load test is capable of, especially from these types of battery packs. A higher performing battery pack obviously is gonna have higher amounts of wattage because you're not gonna see as much of a voltage drop. And then the second one that we see here comes at the 10 second mark where we pull the current and the voltage information. And then on the third point we have at 30 seconds, we pull that same information. And then the final point that we have here is at the cutoff point. What kind of performance do we see there? And on the next slide, we're gonna talk about this cutoff point. How much did we actually extract from the battery pack? Because obviously that is important as well. So our first data set here, the wattage at the maximum current, this happens within the first couple of seconds on the CNHL, which is represented by the bar graph that is green into orange here at the very bottom, that had 1,747 watts of power. And comparing that up against the Turnigy Rapid, the Rapid ended up firing off 1,428 watts of power at that max value for both of these packs under that specific load. Now the next set of data here shows us at the 10 second mark that the CNHL delivered 1,620 watts of power, where the Turnigy delivered 1,286 watts of power. We can see that we lose about 150 watts or so between these points in time. And if we look at then the 30 second mark, we got the CNHL at 1,543 watts and the Rapid at 1265 watts. Not a huge, huge difference here between the two values on the Rapid battery pack. More of a difference here when we compare those bar graphs of the CNHL. Now taking a look at the wattage rate at the cutoff, we had 1247 watts on the CNHL versus 1204 there on the Turnigy Rapid. Now let's jump into the next graph where we can see where this information comes from. So this is what we're taking a look at now. And and we can see that the maximum current that we extracted from that rapid was 100 amps or so, and there's the voltage that we ended up running at. Now, what I want to specifically pay attention to is this is a drop of 22%. If you're using the Turnigy Rapid, you're going to have 22% less power compared with the CNHL. That's going to make a significant difference if you're trying to have the best and most optimal amount of performance coming from your battery pack. Now, at the 10 second mark, you could see it's even higher 
here where the difference is 26% between the CNHL and the Rapid. At the 30 second mark, we again have that 22%. And then at the final cutoff, we have a 4% difference there in wattage. And that's only because the CNHL was still delivering 95 amps at that voltage. And note the voltage there is essentially the same. It looks like I dropped a decimal point off here on the one value. Now the big important part here is that under this 105 amp load test that we've done for both of these battery packs, the milliamp hour, which is essentially the capacity that we're extracting from both of these packs have been significantly different. The CNHL is delivering 4,700 milliamp hour all the way to this voltage cutoff that we can see here on the bar graph where it's delivering still 1,247 watts of power for 4,700 milliamp hour. However, the Turnigy Rapid is not able to sustain that kind of discharge load, and it did hit the voltage cutoff of our test, which landed it at 2,186 milliamp hour, which is a 115% lower value of capacity that you're gonna be able to extract from the Turnigy Rapid battery over the CNHL. So the CNHL definitely from here comes in as the clear winner for performance, power, and and also capacity under load. Now, where do you choose one pack versus the other? There is a $10 USD difference from the CNHL being on sale there versus the price of the Eternity Rapid. And if you're looking for absolute power and performance, the CNHL, without a doubt, is going to be well worth spending that extra 10 USD per battery on in order to get that type of performance. A 22% bump in power is surely going to make a difference, especially on your GPS unit when you're tracking that speed for your radio control vehicle. Now, if you're not really pushing your battery pack and you're just looking to bash around and your amount of current that you're gonna be pulling on average is gonna be relatively low, maybe around 40 amps or so, you probably wanna look and consider the Turnigy Rapid because you can save a bunch of money on those batteries. And in terms of power and performance, it's not something that you're going to need. So your clear winner here is going to be save the dollars, save the money and jump towards that Turnigy Rapid solution. And that's going to be good enough for you. Well guys, that's the data set for this comparison. Now I did receive another battery pack here. I'm gonna throw a picture there up on the Patreon site. If you are a member of tier one, tier two, you will be able to see the next pack that we're gonna be testing on the channel in either a week or maybe two to three weeks time. I have to see exactly when that one's scheduled and then we'll jump into that for that time period. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this one. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.